In this video, we'll give you an overview of automatic reference counting. If you haven't programmed for iOS or macOS before, ARC, or automatic reference counting, might be a new concept to you. If you have used Objective-C in the past, and have used ARC, then the process is exactly the same. So, we'll give you a brief ARC overview of how it works and how it manages memory. ARC is the iOS's way of managing memory. Other languages use a form of garbage collection in order to manage memory. ARC is very different from garbage collection. Garbage collection can happen in any time when the operating system feels like it needs to reclaim some memory. With ARC, it's a much more direct approach. As I mentioned before, it's used in both iOS and OS X. So it's available within Cocoa, so you can use it on your desktop applications as well as your iPhone applications or iPad applications. Originally, it was handy so that you didn't have to use Cocoa's garbage collection on devices. And that was a space saver and a memory saver and a cycle saver. If you have a garbage collection process constantly running in the background for every application that may be running, that's going to be inefficient. So Apple came up with reference counting as a way to do away with using garbage collection. Automatic reference counting counts strong references to an object. So what this means is, is when you assign one object to another, by default, it's a strong reference. And then the count of the destination object goes up by one. And then when the OS releases memory is when that reference count gets back down to zero. So usually when you create an instance, it's automatically assigned to a variable, local variable or a variable maybe in another class, and that immediately increases the count to one. Now the compiler is what manages adding to and subtracting from that count. So it's not actually something that happens at runtime. There are calls that the compiler inserts into the code to do this for you. And they're called retain, and retain increases the reference count on an object by one, and release, release decrements the count by one. So let's take a little bit of a look at how that works in practice. In this example here, I have two instances of a class called class A. And let's say during the course of class A instance one's running, it creates an instance of class B and assigns it to its internal variable foo. At this point, there is now a strong reference from class A to class B. So the class B instance's count goes up by one. Now let's say we instantiate class A instance two, but we reuse the same class B instance and assign that to its internal variable foo. So when that happens, now we've got the same instance of class B, yet now its reference count in the OS is two. So now we have two strong references and the iOS or macOS will not release the memory. Now let's say we destruct class A and it goes away and thus the link to class B goes away. We lose one of those counts. So one is released and now class B's instance is down to a reference count of one. Now let's say we remove the first instance of class A and now we're back down to a reference count of zero. And when that happens, that's when the OS removes that class from memory automatically for you. So ARC handles all of this for you. You don't have to worry about retaining memory or indicating when you're gonna retain memory or worrying about releasing memory, but the reference counting method is very efficient when running on a small footprint device like iOS or iPad. They've made it available on OS X because of its efficiency. I would definitely suggest you get used to using Arc if you're developing on the desktop, because then it'll be running the same way and handled the same way as your device-driven applications.